Hello. Today I'm going to show you how to create this atom icon. Let's open a new document, get rid of the stroke and change the fill to red. First we'll create guides. Press the Ctrl and R buttons on your keyboard to show the ruler. Click in the corner, hold and drag your mouse to the center. While still holding your mouse, press and hold down the control key. Now release the mouse and then the control key. Next, we'll draw this elliptical orbit. Press the letter L for the ellipse tool or select it from the toolbar panel and draw a long and narrow ellipse. Click away to deselect and switch to the selection tool. Let's move it to the center. Next, we'll create an extra copy. Press the Ctrl and C buttons on your keyboard to copy it and Ctrl F to paste it in front. And let's change the copied shape's color to yellow. With the yellow shape still selected, click on this corner's bounding box and while you are holding down the Alt key, scale it down. Let's move the yellow shape to the left just a tiny bit. Now select everything, go to Pathfinder. If you can't see it, go to Window and select Pathfinder and choose Minus Front. Next we'll create this shape to represent an electron. Let's zoom in on this part. Switch to the ellipse tool and draw a small circle, center it on the ellipse. Next create a smaller circle inside the existing one. Now select everything, go to the Shape Builder tool and while holding down the Alt key, click and drag across the parts that you want to delete. Now click, hold and drag across these three shapes to connect them together. Let's zoom out. Next we'll create two additional shapes. With everything still selected, press the letter R for the Rotate tool or select it from the toolbar panel and then press Enter. Change the angle to 60 and click Copy. Select these two shapes again, press the letter R for the Rotate tool, then Enter and this time change the angle to negative 60. Now click Copy. Let's rotate the middle shapes by 180 degrees. In the next several steps we will add gradients and a glow to our electrons to look like this. Select one of the orbits, then click on the gradient of your choice or create your own. I'm going to use one I've created before. It is a simple two-color gradient. Now press the letter G to show the gradient annotator on the screen and adjust it if needed. Select the next shape and add another gradient. And do the same with the last one. Let's create a circle in the middle to represent the nucleus. And if you wish, add a different gradient to it. Let's adjust it. Finally, we'll add a glow to all of the circles. Let's duplicate this circle. Now scale it down. Move it up and create an ellipse shape. Open the gradient panel and choose white and black gradient. Double click on the black color tab. Click on the icon at the top right corner. Select CMYK and move all the sliders to the right to get the rich black color. Next go to the Transparency panel and change the Blending mode to Screen. If you wish, you can adjust the gradient. 
Now let's do the same with the other circles. First press the letter I for the eyedropper tool and click on the red orbit to select the color sample. Now while holding down the ALT key click on the red circle to apply it. And let's repeat this with the green ellipse and the blue one. Next select the glow part from the orange circle and copy it to the side. Zoom in on this part, select the red circle and adjust the gradient if needed. Scale the glow part and place it over the red circle. Now adjust it. And repeat this step with the other two circles. Finally, press the CTRL and semicolon keys on your keyboard to turn off the guides and CTRL R to hide the ruler. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.